Boundary of Simple Shapes Part 1 In this video, you will learn what is a boundary and why and how is the boundary of any shape measured. Papa, come play with me. Let me finish this calculation and then I will come with you. But Papa, what are you calculating? I am trying to find the length of the boundary of my farm. Length of the boundary? What is the boundary? Then you can help me find the length of the boundary. Sit down and I will tell you. Ok, now tell me. The line on all sides of a shape that defines its edge is called the boundary of that shape. I don't get it. I will show you the boundary of the field. Then you will understand it easily. See, this is our farm. This is the line around the field. It shows us where the edge of the field is. So, this line is the boundary of this field. Now, did you understand? Yes, now I understand. The edge of a shape is called its boundary. Yes, and I am finding out the length of the boundary of this field. It is easy. You can add the length of the line on all sides of the boundary and you will get the boundary's length. I will tell you the length of all these lines. Find out the length of the boundary and tell me. Ok, tell me the length of all the lines. The length of this line is 9 meters. The length of this line is also 9 meters. The length of the bottom line is 21 meters. And the length of this slanting line is 15 meters. Ok, now I know the length of all the lines. By adding these, I will get the length of the field's boundary. If you add 9 meters to 9 meters, the answer will be 18 meters. If we add 15 meters to 18 meters, the answer will be 33 meters. And if we add 21 meters to 33 meters, the answer will be 54 meters. That means the boundary of this field is 54 meters. Yes, Rayansh, you are right. That is true. But why are you finding the length of the boundary of this field? Because we need to protect the crop in the field by putting a barbed wire along the boundary so that animals don't spoil it. What is the need to find the length of the boundary if you want to put barbed wire? You can buy it just like that. Rayansh son, if we buy the wire without knowing the length of the boundary, then the wire might either be long or short. If we get a short wire, then we have to buy more wire again. And if we get a long wire, the remaining wire will be of no use. That means the length of the boundary is a very useful measurement. As you said, you can buy the right length of wire by finding the length of the boundary. What similar tasks could be there where the length of the boundary needs to be measured? Measuring a boundary is required for many things. For example, if lace is to be fixed around the tablecloth, then we have to measure the boundary of the tablecloth. In the race track, it is necessary to measure the boundary of the track when there is a race of vehicles or people. A special kind of wooden frame is also put around the door. For that, it is necessary to measure the boundary. Understood. Now come to the park with me. Yes, let's go. Do you know that a grill has been installed on the park's boundary? And the length of the boundary would have been measured for that as well. Today you learned what is a boundary. Why it is important to measure the length of the boundary. And how is the length of the boundary measured. Boundary of Simple Shapes Part 2 In this video, you will learn what is a boundary and 
why and how is the boundary of a shape measured? Rayansh, let's go for a walk. Papa, why do you go for a walk? I don't enjoy it at all. Walking keeps the body healthy. The doctor says that a person of my age should walk at least 6 kilometers per day. So, do you walk 6 kilometers every day? Yes, 3 kilometers in the morning and 3 kilometers in the evening. But how do you know that you have walked for 3 kilometers? It's very easy. You can find it the same way I found out. How? I will tell you. In the park where I go for my walk, the enclosure made for walking is of the shape of a square. One side of its length is 250 meters. Now you tell me how many rounds do I have to walk to complete 3 kilometers? You mean I have to find the length of this boundary? Yes. Okay, I will try. Papa, it is a square shape. That means all its sides will be 250 meters each. Now we add these four sides. Wait, Rayansh. What happened, Papa? Instead of adding the same number four times, it is better to multiply this number by four. Oh, yes. I didn't think of that. Now we can find the length of this boundary by multiplying the length of an edge by four. So tell me, what is the length of the boundary? 250 multiplied by four will be 1000. That means the length of this boundary is 1,000 meters. And how many kilometers is 1,000 meters? One kilometer. All right. Now tell me, how many rounds do I have to take of this boundary to complete three kilometers? For a three kilometer walk, you have to take three rounds of this boundary. Perfect, Rayansh. And this is what I do. I take three rounds of this boundary. This tells me that I have walked 3 kilometers. Oh, now I get it. You walk 3 kilometers in the morning and 3 kilometers in the evening. This way you walk 6 kilometers every day. Yes, Rayansh, that is what I do. How many kilometers should I walk daily to stay healthy? Children should play in the park to stay healthy. That is why... I am taking you to the park. You play and I'll take a walk. Okay, Papa. Let's go. Rayansh, I have bought the farm next to our farm. Now our farm is bigger than before. Does that mean its boundary would have also increased? Yes, and therefore... You have to find out the length of its boundary. Okay, tell me the measurements of the edges of all sides and I will tell the length of the boundary. I have written the measurements of all the sides of the field on this paper. You tell me the length of the boundary. Okay, this farm has six sides. By adding all these, I can find the length of the field's boundary. Yes, tell me, what will be the length of the boundary? 9 meters added to 5 meters is 14 meters. 14 meters added to 9 meters is 23 meters. 4 meters added to 23 meters is 27 meters. 27 meters added to 22 meters will be 49 meters. If we add 21 meters to 49, the answer will be 70 meters. That means the length of our farm's boundary is 70 meters. You are right, Rayansh. Now you have learned how to calculate the length of the boundary. Now you can help those people in the village who do not know how to measure the length of the boundary. Today we have learned that to find the length of the boundary of any shape, the length of all its sides are added. And irrespective of how many sides or edges there are in a shape, the method to find the length of the boundary remains the same. Boundary of Simple Shapes, Part 3 
Today we will learn what is the relationship between the number of edges in shapes and the length of their boundaries. Rayansh, today I am going to get wire to put around the boundary of the field. Your uncle also wants to put a wire around his farm's boundary. We measured the boundary of our farm yesterday. Now you can measure the boundary of uncle's farm as well. Then we can bring wires for both the farms together. Okay, tell me the shape of their fields and the measurements of all the sides of the farm. Here it is. I have already made it on the same paper on which we measured our field yesterday. Okay, let me tell you the length of uncle's farm's boundary. It has only four edges. That means its boundary will be less than our field's boundary. 15 added to 20 is 35 meters. 22 meters added to 35 is 57 meters. And when 13 meters are added to 57 meters, the answer will be 70 meters. Papa, the length of uncle's farm's boundary is 70 meters. Show me. Here it is. Just a minute. What happened? I may have made a mistake in adding. The measurement of the boundaries of uncles and our farm seems to be the same. Give it to me, I'll check. No, Rayansh, there is no mistake. Your calculation is correct. So, does that mean that the length of the boundaries of both the fields is the same? Yes. But how is this possible? Why is it not possible? The shape of the two fields is different. Then how come the measurement of their boundaries is the same? It is possible. The size of the boundary has no relation to the shape. A shape can have three or more edges. And all the edges can have different measurements. So the length of the boundary of different shapes can be the same. I did not understand it properly. Look, I have three thin sticks of the same size. They all have the same length, 15 centimeters. Yes, their length is the same. Now I cut one of these sticks into three parts and make a shape from it. In the same way, I cut the other stick into four parts and make a shape from it. And finally, I cut third stick into five parts and again make a shape from it. Now there are three such figures in front of you that are made from sticks of equal lengths. Can you tell the length of their boundaries? Yes, it is very easy. Sticks of 15 centimeters each have been used to make all the three shapes. So the length of their boundaries will also be the same. That is 15 centimeters. You see, the shape of these three figures is different. Despite the fact that the length of the boundaries is the same. Now I understand that different shapes can have the same length of boundary. Apart from this, I understood one more thing. What? I thought that if a figure has more number of edges, then the length of its boundary will also be more. But it is not so. The number of edges in these three shapes is also different. This figure has three edges. This figure has four edges. This figure has five edges. Yet, the length of the boundary for all is 15 centimeters. You can find it by looking at these fields also. Look, our farm has six edges, while your uncle's field has four edges. But the measurements of the boundaries of both fields is the same. Yes, I had not paid attention to this. But is it possible? That the length of the boundary of a shape with less number of edges is more and the length of the boundary with more number of edges is less? Yes, absolutely possible. This can be seen practically. See, let's take two thin sticks of different sizes. The short stick is 10 cm long and the long one is 15 cm long. Now let's cut the short stick into six pieces and make a shape. And now cut the long stick into three pieces and make another shape. Now tell, which of these two boundaries is longer? 
द लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल शेप इज फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर्स विच इज मोर देन द लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री ऑफ द शेप विथ सिक्स एजेस एब्सोल्युटली राइट दैट मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ एजेस ऑफ अ शेप डज नॉट अफेक्ट द लेंथ ऑफ इट्स बाउंड्री येस नाउ आई अंडरस्टैंड लेट्स गो टू द मार्केट नाउ एंड बाय सम वायर फॉर द फार्म्स टूडे वी हैव लर्न दैट even if the shape of two figures is different the length of their boundaries can be the same and the number of edges of a shape does not affect the length of its boundary the length of the boundary of a shape with more edges can be less than the length of the boundary with the less edges <laughs>